Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading for March 2021. Um, before I get started on the reading, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone that has shown their support for my book, Love Tarot Made Easy, which recently came out on paperback. Um, I did not expect the response that I got and all of your kind comments do not go unnoticed. I'm very grateful for anybody that has purchased the book or just commented um, their support. Uh, it means a lot and I just wanted to say thank you before I jumped into the reading. So let's get into it. For Sagittarius, who or what is coming your way in love? March 2021, Spirits, Angels, Guides, what messages do you have for the sign of Sagittarius? For Sagittarius, please. For March 2021. For Sagittarius. Okay, we got the Ace of Pentacles reverse. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Four of Wands reverse. Using the Crow Tarot, all of the decks that I'm using are going to be linked in the description box. Three of Pentacles. And it's always Sagittarius. This will be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. If it does resonate, let me know down in the comments. If it doesn't resonate at all, that's okay. Just check out my playlist for Sagittarius. I have a ton of videos there that might resonate more for you. What's the energy surrounding Sagittarius in love? We've got deep regret, remorse, guilt, responsibility. There's regret over past actions. Keep getting these types of messages. Bottom of the deck, hidden motives. Deception, secrets, avoidance. Someone's hiding their true motives. So someone's regretting this. Hiding uh, their true motives, being deceptive. Um, because there's been a loss here with the Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Four of Wands reverse. Um, there's a lack of stability here. There, um, things are rocky. A long-term commitment could have ended or there's a disconnect in a commitment. There could be financial hardship. All right, let's see. Let's get one more for Sagittarius. What's the energy surrounding Sagittarius in love? March 2021, Spirit. You deserve love. You are lovable. And yes, this is your soulmate. So this could have been, I have a retreat at the bottom of the deck. This could be a disconnect with a soulmate energy, um, a partnership here. One more. This is the Enchanted Map Oracle. Tell me more. What is the energy surrounding Sagittarius in love? What is the energy surrounding Sagittarius in love? Stuck in the mud, number 24. And heal the ouch at the bottom of the deck. So yes, I feel like this is probably going to be an, uh, one of those readings where this is someone that wants to heal a connection or is regretting how they've hurt you. Because there's regret here. There's been a loss here. The Three of Pentacles is throwing me off a little bit. I mean, this could be somebody that wants to work on this, but for some reason, I don't think that's the message. We'll clarify and see. So I'm using the Vice Versa Tarot, which I am obsessed with. This is a deck that has uh, pictures in the front and the back. It's kind of like the light and dark kind of. So I love mess, mess well, not messing around with my deck, but I love shuffling my decks uh, reverse, upright, 
mixing them up and that's kind of what I've done with this deck. I've just shuffled it all kinds of crazy ways. I pick it up, you know, upright, reverse. I switch hands on it, you know, like I just, I love messing with it because I feel like the message that I get with this deck, I just feel connected to this deck and for some reason the message is just so clear even when the deck is on all, uh, all over the place. And that's because this, the message that Spirit wants to share will be the message no matter how my deck is. That's what I believe. That's what works for me. So let's get into this, Spirit. Tell me more for Sagittarius. Help me clarify, please, for Sagittarius. What messages do you have? This is a beautiful deck. Okay. It's a little bit better. Okay, tell me about the Ace of Pentacles reverse. What happened here with the Ace of Pentacles reverse? Wow, that one flipped up. Yeah, Five of Pentacles, and then I have the Knight of Wands. Yes. Someone's out in the cold here with the Five of Pentacles. And look how this person looks in this particular deck. They kind of look like, oh no, or things are really bad. And I feel like that's how someone is feeling right now. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Can I get one more for the face of... Okay, we have the Lovers kind of turned around and then the Three of Wands. The Lovers reverse. Gemini energy. This could have been a separation. I feel like someone's waiting for someone here. I have the Magician on the bottom. And on the top, I have the Seven of Swords reversed. Yeah, this someone here, I feel messed up. Um, and now it's like they're waiting to return or they're waiting to manifest something new here. Tell me about this Four of Wands reverse. Oh my gosh, the cards just wanna talk. Six of Cups reversed and the King of Swords. Yeah, Six of Cups reversed and it's the back of the card. So stuck in the past here, stuck in the mud is like stuck, I feel like whoever is stuck in the mud is because they're still tied to the past. This is in regards to something that happened in the past. Um, this could be um, an ex of yours. And then I have the king of, no, the queen of swords, but it's the back of the queen of swords. So what I'm picking up here, it's almost like um, someone has their back to the past. This could be, you could be dealing with a Gemini. You know, the Queen of Swords, there's usually, um, very, the Queen has very strong boundaries. Uh, they're hard to read. They see right through the BS and uh, they're very direct. No emotion here. No emotion gets in the way here. So that's why I'm picturing this as two different energies. It's like, Someone's still tied to the past and I'm almost picking up like a nostalgia, you know, like someone looks at the past fondly um, or with regret, right? Like there's emotional attachment to the past is what I'm trying to say. Queen of Swords, I don't feel that's the case. And I have the Three of Swords right here in the top. I think this Queen of Swords has been hurt. And it's, it's going to be very hard, I feel, to make her turn around to listen. Yeah, the Tower reverse at the bottom. And right after that, the Five of Wands. This is at the bottom of the deck here. So something big happened. And I think it caused someone to be very heartbroken. It was very difficult. There could have been conflict drama here. Can I get one more? For this Four of Wands reverse. get one more please for this four of wands reverse <clears throat> excuse me 
High Priestess. Ooh. Bottom of the deck, I have the Eight of Wands. And what's this? Queen of Cups reversed. Again with the Heartbreak. And this card, the Eight of Wands, um, this is like the back of the, or like the shadow side of the Eight of Wands. And look at that lightning bolt. And I always think of the tower every time I see this card. Like a communication that led to a tower or um, some sort of surprising communication that hits you like a bolt of lightning. So I think whatever was secret, you have the High Priestess here. Whatever was secret here, whatever was hidden, um, it could also be that there has been you know, a cut in communication with the high priestess. I don't know. I, I'm picking up like there's communication coming in. I have the page of swords right behind that. And it might be shocking communication. Maybe after some time of silence or maybe this communication is going to reveal whatever has been secret. Why is the three of pentacles here? Nice, the Three of Pentacles. The Fool Reverse. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why, what is going on with my deck? Interesting, the Chariot. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? My deck, it just, it's just... There's so much energy, I feel. Eight of Swords. The Devil Reverse, Capricorn Energy. This again, another card about being stuck here with the Eight of Swords and then the Devil Reverse. So it's like breaking free of fear. We have the Page of Cups reversed, the Star reversed at the bottom, and then the Knight of Cups reversed at the top. So I feel like whatever situation this was with the Page of Cups in the bottom of the deck and reverse and the Knight of Cups reverse, it's like heartbreak disappointment. There has been a lot of heartbreak and disappointment in this connection. I feel like there could have been a negative or toxic environment either. And you know, Sagittarius here, I could have all of your energies or your person's energies. There could be a mix here. So I don't know who was in this devil energy where they were stuck and now they're trying to break free here. They're no longer bound or restricted. Um, you know, and you know, it's almost like with the full reverse, the the freedom hasn't happened because it's going to require a big risk here. Tell me about this full reverse. Because I feel like these are two very separate energies. Once again, I'm picking up like two energies here. The, like they're direct opposites. Why is the full reverse? Page of Cups reverse. <laughs> this could be an emotional, like someone could be emotionally tied. The Hermit. Bottom of the deck, Six of Swords. So, Virgo energy. And you know, I noticed so many things in this deck. This is the front of the Hermit card, right? And in the back, there's like this moon and also like a flying bird, like, and his arm is up and I know he's holding the lantern, but it almost looks like he sent a messenger, a messenger here, like a messenger bird, or perhaps there's a message coming in. So the hermit, this is someone that's listening to their intuition. This is someone that's not speaking. So, you know, quiet reserved energy someone withdrawn disconnected and so i have it here with the page of cups reverse so i feel like someone hasn't taken the risk to express themselves to express an apology and i feel like they want to be free of this i have the three of pentacles here so it's almost like they want to work on this or perhaps there's more than two people here
but the six of swords is almost like someone left right and it's like in this energy of being far away what's in the top of the deck ever since i got this this deck i've been looking at the top and the back nine of wands resistance exhaustion this is someone that's beat up but isn't giving up a lot of things have happened to get to this point there could be trust issues here as well because of what's happened that's why someone's so defensive wary over protecting themselves again i'm thinking of the queen of swords here like someone that has literally put up a wall and I feel like this person's trying to figure out either how to get to you or how to leave this energy behind, this fearful, quiet energy. You know, we did have, let me look back here, at the bottom of the deck, hidden motives. So. I don't, and, you know, and I'm not picking up like hidden motives like someone. I mean, I, I think they were deceptive. I think there's secrets here. Some, some things that you're not aware of. Tell me about this devil reverse. Page of Pentacles. Yep. So someone here wants to... I guess make some sort of an offer to you. They would need to let something go though in order to do that. They need to become unstuck. Ten of Wands reversed. Two of Wands reversed. Yes, they need to they need to choose. Make a decision and stick to it. Let's see. I want to look more at your person. Tell me more about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. This this person. Give me some insight spirit into this person, please. Strength, Leo energy. Tell me more about this person. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. This is a card about commitment, long-term commitment, financial stability, security, family, traditions. What is the energy surrounding this person? What is the energy surrounding this person? Cold shoulder, silence, distance, coldness. Someone's feeling shut out. Yes, that's this five of pentacles. So this person is feeling shut out. I don't think there's communication between you and there's unhealthy attachment at the bottom of the deck. This person, there could be unhealthy attachments either with this person or that's the situation this person finds themselves in right now. Could be anything, could be um, toxic, uh, toxic living arrangement, toxic people around this person. This person could be um, dealing with addictions or making bad choices, just making bad choices that keep someone stuck in the mud here. So, you know, and it could also be if that's not what your person's dealing with, then I feel like they've let something get in the way. Maybe your relationship became unhealthy or there's some sort of unhealthy attachment. And I think, you know, it's affecting this connection. This person could already be in some sort of family situation. And with the strength card, I'm getting like a wanting to control a situation. I'm not getting courage from this card. I'm getting like almost like it's like someone that's trying to go with the flow, trying to let things unfold naturally, but I don't think it's their nature. What a weird message I'm getting there. 
we're going to clarify your person more in the extended um looking at their true intentions what's going on between them or in their situ like what's going on in their life right now and what they wish they could tell you all of that will be in the extended so let's just move on in the reading here where is all of this headed spirit if you're interested in learning more about this person, then check out the extended spirit. Where is all of this headed? What's next for Sagittarius? What's next for Sagittarius, please? What's next? Death, reverse, Scorpio energy. What's next? King of Wands. Interesting. What's next? Queen of Cups reversed. Again with like the... And I, I've gotten the Queen of Cups reversed in several readings now. This is all about um, heartbreak, disappointment, being emotionally blocked. Uh, you're blinded by emotion with the Queen of Cups reversed. They cannot see clearly. Their intuition is blocked. Let's clarify. And with death reverse, that's a very interesting card that immediately makes me think of your person. This is resistance to change, resistance to an ending. Delaying an ending. Refusing to change. Help me clarify these energies. I just saw the Seven of Swords reverse and then I flipped it here. Let me clarify, please, these energies for Sagittarius. Tell me about death reverse. Tell me about the death card reverse. Oh, I got two. Two of Swords, Seven of Cups. Yeah, it's like an indecision here or someone being blocked or refusing. It's like I'm, I'm getting almost like a no, I don't want to energy. So I don't think this person wants to end something. And I think it's because they're trying to figure out if they have any other options here or perhaps because of confusion. Tell me more about the death card reverse. Tell me more about death reverse. Hermit energy. Yeah, this is someone trying to figure something out with the Seven of Cups here. What to do about what I need to say. Page of Cups at the bottom here. What can I say to... Re yeah, Ten of Swords reverse. It's almost... I'm reading this as like, I don't want things to end. What do I say to avoid this ending? Or to avoid this cycle closing. Tell me about this King of Wands. Oh wow, we got the Two of Cups. Tell me more about the King of Wands. Four of Cups. Tell me more about the King of Wands. Wheel of Fortune reverse, Six of Pentacles at the bottom, Six of Swords reverse. You know, it's interesting. I feel like this is someone that's motivated. The King of Wands um, is two lions here. It could be dealing with a Leo. Um, but I feel like this is your person. Like there's a connection here. This person, it, I feel like they... You know, the soulmate card, they think that you are their soulmate or vice versa. This is a soulmate connection. Um, but it's almost like one person's really wanting this and the other one might not be as open to this. Look at the arms crossed. It reminds me of the two of swords. The arms are crossed here as well. And then I have the wheel of fortune reversed. So either the timing isn't right or this isn't going smoothly here. Someone could be waiting for an opportunity to really even things out here. Balance things. Give you something. We did have the Page of Pentacles here. 
And then we have the Six of Swords reverse. Is someone that is unable to leave a situation or delayed from leaving a situation, but I think this is someone that doesn't want to leave. Tell me if this is resonating for you in the comments. It won't resonate for everyone. I feel like this is a very specific message. Tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse. What's this Queen of Cups reverse doing here? This should this is probably you. Yeah, I feel like this is you debating. Should I, shouldn't I? Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? You know, Knight of Wands. Yeah, I, th I don't think you can trust this person or you have doubts about this person. I don't think you want to make the same moves here. Yeah. Three of Swords at the bottom. Exactly. I think you're, you were hurt. And so in your mind, it's like not so fast. I don't want things, to, yeah, King of Swords reverse. I, I'm not open to this or back off energy. Um, this is somebody that could have deceived you and hurt you here with the Three of Swords. What does this King of Wands want? What is their goal? Spirit, what does this King of Wands want? Seven of Swords, the star reverse. The lovers at the bottom of the deck. So they're interesting. Yeah, Ten of Cups. So this person, I feel like they want this happy ending with you. They want a union with you. They want to choose you, right? But in the midst of all this is heartbreak and disappointment. There's a, there's a lot of healing needed because this person, and this person could just be trying to be strategic with the Seven of Swords. But be very careful, you know, either they're being strategic or they're being sneaky about something. Aquarius energy with a star reverse. And when the stars reverse, it's like a hopeless situation or maybe there there's a lack of faith. And maybe that's why they're resorting to these motives here. Why the Seven of Swords? Why the Seven of Swords? Ah. There's, okay, so they might not tell you everything. Have the uh, temperance card at the bottom of the deck. This is your energy, Sagittarius. I feel like they're trying to blend something, trying to make something work. And so in their mind, they're thinking, I can't be completely honest, not right away. So we're going to look at your person now in the extended. We're going to dive deep into what are their true intentions, clarify these energies. What do we need to know, right? Um, pull some oracle cards. So if you want to know more about your person, then check out the extended. It'll be a bonus reading and it's going to be linked in the description box or pinned in the comments. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings. Leave me a comment if it resonated for you and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.